What is up everyone, today we are looking at the new secret MP7 blueprint you can get whenever you open Bunker 11. In this video I'm quickly showing you guys the weapon and its attachments and I will also briefly explain how to get this weapon if you do not know already. So if you're interested in how to get it, stick around till the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing, it will mean a lot to me. And now let's look at the Mud Dropper MP7 blueprint. First of all, this is a beautiful MP7 skin in my opinion. And one of the great things about it is, the gold yellow parts on the weapon will always stay there, even if you change the camo. This looks super nice, and I heard using the gold camo on it, it is super nice as well. Now that we know it looks good, let's check the attachment and see if it is a viable weapon in Warzone. The first attachment is the monolithic suppressor. This is an S tier attachment, and I don't think there is a better option in the muzzle class. Next up is the 5MW laser, I never really use lasers, only the attack laser, but it felt like this MP7 has great hipfire accuracy and great sprint to fire speed, so I guess it is a great option for the MP7. Up next is the no stock option, making this gun even more mobile. The movement speed and ADS speed increase a lot, so I would say it is a great option for the MP7 as well. Next up is the Ranger 4 grip for more recoil control and aiming stability, one of my favorite attachments in the game so far. Next up is the 60 round mags. I love the 60 round mags. I will always put this on my MP7 build whenever I use it. So another great option. It has no scope, but I wouldn't use one anyway. The MP7 iron side are perfect. So overall, a great build in my opinion. It is not without recoil, but the recoil is pretty easy to manage with the MP7. So now that we know the blueprint and this weapon is great, how do we even get it? This is not easy, and the reason it is not easy is because a lot of people are camping around the bunker. They are waiting for honest people to do all the work and open the bunker. Whenever the bunker opens, they will come out of their hiding ground and they will try to overtake you and your team. This is probably the first thing you should know. But how do you open the bunker? On the map, there are 8 activation phones. These phones can be interacted with. The activation phones are in the following locations. The dam, the TV station, the building south of Boneyard, buildings between Promenade East and Hills, the car dealer between Airport and Superstore, the Port Main Building, the Skyscraper in Downtown, and the Fire Station across Bunker 11. Whenever you get to one of these locations, you can interact with the phone and it will make one of two possible sounds. One is a beeping sound, meaning this is not the correct phone. Or second, a Russian guy will speak Russian to you. Whenever you have the Russian guy in the phone, you have the correct activation phone. You completed step 1. He will say some gibberish, but after a quick little tune, he will say three different numbers in Russian. Each number will represent a different phone on the map. On the screen you can see I have a quick cheat sheet I used. I did not make this and all credits go to reddit user Multineer. You have to translate the correct Russian numbers and activate the three corresponding phones in the exact order the Russian guy tells you to. We had trouble understanding the Russian guy quite some times, so take your time and re-listen to him if you are not sure. Whenever you activated all three phones in the exact order, the light on the top of the Bunker 11 will turn green. This means you and your team only will be able to open the bunker. This is the tricky part, because there will be a bunch of lazy people waiting for you to make their move. So take your time clearing people till you are sure the bunker is clear enough to be opened. Inside the bunker there will be two SMG blueprints on the table for you to grab. If one of you grabs it, the whole team instantly unlocks it. And that's that. One great tip is to do this in plunder with a full team. This will make the progress less hard. Also having a helicopter will make transporting a bit faster as well. I hope you guys find this useful, if so consider leaving a like and subscribing and I will see you in the next video.